Okay, we can grab the three note cross picking with our pick, right? We can grab the three note cross picking with these two fingers and the pick. I like to keep the three fingers and the pick in motion and use it more, probably more frequently, because I can grab rhythm with this, this pinch rhythm for the banjo that I can't grab if I'm just holding my pick. And that's the reason why it's kind of neat to incorporate the hybrid. So the banjo rhythm, as you're used to hearing, is is a strike of a chord and then you mute quickly. Real similar to the mandolin chop. And C. And I'm changing my chord slightly. I'm playing a close C where I normally would not play a close C. But on this type of rhythm, when you're pinching, you're pinching three strings at one time. And you can do it with a hybrid. So. Notice I'm playing that F chord position, but I'm up a whole step from F to G and G to A, right here. Going to my five chord, and I could play my D here. I'm playing an A position with the D bass. Back to G, C. I'm playing these chords because they're closed, and they give me a good, a good muted chop like that. And I'm moving up the neck. Notice where my hand is. Instead of back here playing my row, when I play my rhythm, I'm up here so I can get a nice, sweet, a nice, sweet pinch after I play the chord. Go to my D chord. And I could go to my high G. Right there. That's my D chord, my E, my F, and my G. You can do the same thing, but you need to use closed chords when you're doing the pinch rhythm, and you can't do it with just a pick. You got to have these other two fingers, and the hybrid's really important to do that. So if you want to add dynamics to your show, you could try a tune, let's say St. Anne's Reel, and you can slow it down, and you can really add a different type of mood to a, a song that would normally be completely different on, on the bluegrass guitar at a higher tempo. This is a, something that might be really neat to try. Let's try it on St. Anne's Reel let you hear what it sounds like. And try it on other songs that you already know or that you like or that you already are real familiar with on the guitar. And uh, I'm going to take this one. This is one I know. And I'm going to try it right now and let you see what it sounds like. soft and I'm playing a combination of the four note cross picking and the three note cross picking and the reason I'm not using the hybrid so much on that is I want a little bit stronger note so it'll sustain and that's probably you may watch this and go why aren't you using your hybrid on that because I just need a little bit more sustain and the pick gives it to me so it's great to use your pick and use a hybrid it's an awesome way to play the banjo So you may be thinking, well, this is a Tele hybrid type of a right hand, uh, play me something that's got some of the Tele licks that you might use. And it's really fun to do it on banjo. And you can slow it down and it'll fit on your bluegrass. I'm going to take the E string down a whole step to my D string. 
I'm going to play some telly licks that are going to sound pretty bluegrassy to, to you on the banjo. I'm Brad Davis, of course, and I'm known for this crazy double down-up technique that I play on the guitar. It's two downs and one up. And remember, this is a guitar. It's tuned exactly like a guitar. The neck is just the same. Um, the only difference is you're holding something that a lot of jokes are made about. But get over it. It's a fun instrument. So I'm going to show you what the double down-up sounds like on this particular instrument. I'm going to play two downs and one up. And quickly, if you don't know what it's all about, I'm going to play a downstroke rest, a downstroke, rest, and then an upstroke. So I'm going six, five, five, six, five, five. And that's what happens all over the, the, the uh, string pattern here when I'm playing. Whether I'm playing high, playing the same thing that I play on the acoustic guitar just as I do on the banjo. Let's drop the D real quick and just hear some things. I'm doing two downs and one up, but it sounds really cool because the banjo is such a different instrument. Same layout as the guitar. Mixing with the hybrid. There's so much you can do with this instrument. It's such a blast. The double down up sound pretty neat on it, and they also sound like a roll. I want to do something that's a little bit more straight so you can hear what a roll would sound like. It's almost like a banjo roll. Now let's talk about using the traditional banjo picks with this instrument. Let's put on our middle pick. These things really kind of hurt me because I'm a guitar player, so you know it's kind of one of those things you have to get used to. And then a nice little thumb pick here. So you got your picks on, just like we're a regular banjo player. Yeah, I know the banjo jokes will be flying like crazy. Um, but anyway, so 
this is really interesting for me as a guitar player because I got to kind of look at this and figure out how am I going to do this? How am I going to make this work? And the idea is to take the three note cross picking pattern and the four note cross picking pattern and the hybrid three and hybrid four and I'm going to plug it into these right here and I'm going to basically do a simple roll. So I'm going to take this G, this F, F shaped G chord right here and take off the mid, middle finger once again because it sounds droney like a banjo and I'm going to roll the fourth, the third, and the second with the thumb and the, the index finger and the middle finger. So the pattern goes like this. You hit all three strings at one time and then you start the pattern. That's the first downbeat. All The hit is the first downbeat. So, so the next hit or the next the next note, excuse me, is going to be the third string up. Three, four, two, three, four, two. So I'm not doing the total hit the second time, I'm doing just the fourth string. So four, three, two, four, three, four, two, three, four, two. And then I'm going back to the four. Four, three, four, two, three, four, two. So the hit takes the place of that first downbeat. to dot, dot those changes. So just using the three strings, you can make a really good roll with this particular instrument, just with three strings. Let's go to a different position. Actually, let's stay on that real quick. I want to show you something. I want to show you this pulse. I'm going to do a hammer-on like that. And down here, I'm going to do a, a hammer on and a hammer on here to pulse the uh, the pulse the beat of this rhythm. Makes it a little bit more in interesting on the front instead of just hitting the three all together. Hammer. So it gives me a little little bit of a texture. string roll is really cool. It's more, it's to me it's more of a natural roll with the banjo picks on this instrument to do three strings. Let's try the four string roll and I'll use it on the G and show you how you can use the same three notes with an outside fourth string and that would be the B string here which would be my D note. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit all three at one time, six, four, and three. Thing with C. The four string is actually built in to these, and I'm not going outside. I'm staying inside these three, five, three, and two, and I'm hitting all those at one time. to let you hear it with, with or without the D. So the four string roll is really cool. It's a little harder and the three, three string roll is really neat as well. But it's the same thing as using the pick. I'm doing the same roll with the pick and I'm also doing the same roll with a pick and the two fingers for the hybrid. Same deal. I'm just using a different set of instruments to do it with.
So let's try the rhythm with this. We're obviously not going to strum because we've got banjo picks on, so we can't strum this way. But we're going to do a pinch rhythm, just like you would on a banjo. Same thing as the hybrid. I've got these two fingers and the pick, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pinch it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And I'm playing closed positions here. And you can alternate. And what really makes you sound like a banjo is when you do a high G and a low G and a high G and a low G. or little three-quarter time it works really great so it's a quick it's a quick it's a really quick you hit all three strings at one time and you, you pinch and it's real powerful pinch and a mute so it's really great for anything a real simple way to do rhythm and it sounds just like a banjo uh, believe it or not. Back close to the early 20th century, Gibson came out with a six-string banjo. And back then, there was not really a reinforcement for rhythm uh, in bands that had horns and a lot of loud instruments. So the banjo took that role. It was loud, obviously banjos are loud, and most of the players that played in those bands played swing and jazz chords and that type of thing. So I want to show you what this thing sounds like and you may feel like you start to get hungry for pizza after I play this, which I, I do as well. But uh, check this out. I'm going to play some jazz chords and it's going to kind of make you feel, actually it's going to transport you into an error instantly when you hear it. It's really cool. So it's, uh, it's an old sounding swing style, but the banjo's got a lot of volume. So with all those other instruments, horn instruments, uh, the brass, uh, a big band sound, this instrument would cut and provide a really good rhythm using all your jazz chords, playing in it just like you would if you were a guitar player. This is going to play the same way, but a lot more volume. So all your guitar players trying to get back at the banjo players, this is your, this is your instrument of choice. Now we're going to play uh, a song called Salt Creek out, and Mr. Tim May uh, is going to play it with me. Thanks for being here, Tim. Good to be uh, here. We're going to hear the six-string banjo do its stuff, I hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> 